Hi, my name's Paul Deakin and I'm a solutions engineer with F5 Networks and today we're going to talk about deploying F5 with Terraform. On the agenda today, we're going to cover how to deploy an example F5 Terraform template. Then we're going to modify the template to add a jump box. Why are we doing this? The idea behind the jump box is that we're trying to have no directly internet facing management interfaces because the press has been reporting that there are state sponsored groups out there that are trying to attack F5 management interfaces. So you start by cloning uh, the Terraform templates that we have out there. So in my case, I'm cloning Jeff Giroux's Terraform examples. The template comprises various components. So for the various cl clouds, you have AWS, you have Azure and Google. I'm going to be using Google. In the options here, you've got an auto scale use case, high availability via the API, and today we're going to use high availability via the load balancer. The first thing though is to build out your infrastructure. So this is all the basic networking components that you need in order to, to run the Terraform. There are some variables that you need to customize to meet your needs in the infrastructure only directory. The readme file is going to cover the specific variables that you need to customize. So go ahead and make those changes and then you're ready to build your infrastructure. Now go into the directory for the infrastructure only code and run Terraform apply. Okay, so I've run the Terraform apply for the infrastructure and it's gone in and created those three networks you need because we're going to be deploying multi-NIC big IPs today. So it's got a management network, an external network and an internal network that's been created. And obviously it's used that humble pie prefix in order to prefix the networks with the prefix that you wanted to create. Everything's configurable you can create the you can change the network numbers you can really change the firewall rules you can really do anything with the, with the terraform code the examples out there and it's um, up to you to manipulate it in in a way that suits your needs the terraform template that i'm using allows you to access tmui over the internet directly uh, there is a method for adding an access control list so you can limit the source IP from which you can access the management interfaces. But in my case, I, I wanted to add an extra layer of security by adding a jump box in there. So I added a file with a few lines of code that creates a Windows server that's, that's then attached to the management network. And that's how I'm going to be accessing the TMUI interface. There's also a, a Terraform variables file that you need to fill out here. Again, you'll have all these values from most of them from the infrastructure that you've created. So you're going to need to know the management networks that you've created, the external VPCs and the internal VPCs and also the, the networks. Right. Note that the project relies on something called secrets, which is very much like, like uh, Vault in HashiCorp. But there's something called Secrets Manager uh, in Google and you create secrets and here by default you should create a secret called my-secret and that will contain your admin password. So I've added my jump box code and I've changed the tfvars file to customize the variables for my particular environment and now I'm ready to run terraform apply in the ha via lb directory. Just hit yes here. And it's going to create the infrastructure for you. So here I am inside the jump box and I can access my big IPs from there. Note, I did make one other change. Um, I made uh, a firewall change to remove port 443 access from the, the management uh, firewall so you can't you can no longer access the management interface directly from the internet um, I'm sure you could probably take another step and and disassociate the public IPs from the big IP management interfaces on top of the firewall changes 
So that's the end of the demonstration today and, and thanks for watching.